I have a nine to five job, yes, an advertising practitioner. I work with um, a digital advertising company, but my side also over the years has been from me being a food blogger to being um, a fashion, a fashion entrepreneur to selling hair to doing just so many things that I've always loved to do. I started food blogging two years ago and it started as a joke, I'd say that because um, there was a day I, I, I made um, Chinese fried rice and I posted it on my personal page on Instagram and I got a lot of people asking me for the recipes. So I just thought about it that, okay, why not create a page where people come to learn recipes, watch videos and two years now I have over 100,000 followers. I have worked with so many brands and I, I, I decided to make it a side also when I had 20,000 followers and a brand reached out to me to send my gift card. I was like, whoa, <laughs> food blogging is something I've always loved to do and it was born out of passion and luckily for me, thankfully, my passion is paying me now and it has never for once affected my day's job. Hello, my name is Omotolani Taya Oshikoya. I am the Chief Operating Officer at CISD Digital and also a food blogger, a recipe developer at Diary of a Kitchen Lover. And here are my top five tips on building a successful side hustle. My first tip will be for you to check your employment course to be sure you are allowed to run a side hustle. Far back in 2012, I just got employed at the airport and I, fortunately for me, I checked our employment and book and it was boldly written there you are not allowed to do any other business aside the airport business it was really really sad for me and i could not wait to leave your current employer does not allow you to run a side hustle you might have to um, maybe wait a little bit to get a new um, employment or if it allows you to run a side hustle then you are good to go my second tip for you to successfully run a side hustle is that you have to um, identify a business or a service you are passionate about. Um, when you are passionate about something, you would never see it as a job. Last year, I had a major setback with my food blogging career. Um, I'd already, I, I was about to start an online class. I already had over 200 students waiting for me to start the class and I was supposed to film 40 recipes to um, teach the online course. And unfortunately for me, I lost all the files on my phone. I lost everything, all the videos, and it was like two weeks to the class. There was nothing I did not do to bring back the videos. I checked, I went to, I went to the engineers to see if I could get it back. It wasn't, it wasn't just coming through. And so I took it upon myself to film all 40 recipes all over again within two weeks. So with passion and um, drive, your side hustle can actually blow on. My third tip for you is for you to never follow the crowd. You need to identify that one thing that stands you out. I'll give an example. Maybe you want to sell home appliances or kitchen appliances and you know they're already, there are people already selling these things and there's people already cashing out of these things. And um, what, makes, what will make you stand out and what will make people want to patronize you? Um, for example, you want to sell a blender and um, you're just posting a picture. People know it's a blender already. How, what makes your blender special from um, Selahe, you understand? Um, you can just make a video of how to use it and maybe if your blender is very good and it crushes ice immediately and all of that, you can make a video of how this blender works. But with this, people will see that, okay, your blender is actually different and this person actually puts 100% in marketing a, a product. So if you identify that thing that makes you strong and stands you out, you will definitely excel in your side hustle. The fourth tip I would like to share with you is for you to dream big and focus small. Dream big and start small. Remember that whatever side also you want to venture into, there are already some people doing it full time and you cannot be comparing yourself with those people because for them to have gotten to that level, they, they, there must have been a lot of sacrifices, a lot of consistency, a lot of failure. Um, they probably went through hell to get to that point. And you are just starting. You can't compare yourself to those people. Instead of comparing yourself, why don't you just take them as a secret mentor if they are not even approachable and look at what they are doing and um, in future see yourself as 
somebody that wants to achieve what they are achieving in that space. The tip I would like to share with you is to never see disappointment or failure as a setback. Um, the process of starting a side hustle is always a very exciting process where um, you are excited about starting a new business and you're already thinking big and I'm going to get a lot of customers, this is my target for this year. But the real deal is when you actually start a business. You might start, you might start slow, you might not even get customers, you might not get subscribers to, see, to your services, you might not even get any sales or you might even lose properties, lose um, the goods you are selling. Never see it as a, a setback or never see it as a point where you have to back down. Um, I'd rather you see it as something that's um, a drive and something that will make you forge better and be a better person. If you are thinking of starting a side hustle, you better start today.